and welcome to Coffee and Craft with me. I'm Liz Ewell. I'm from Old Stables Crafts and I'm a stamping up demonstrator based in the UK. Sorry about this camera being in the way, but you know, hey, these things happen. So I received 11 kilos of new goodies yesterday. Um, most of it's going to be packaged up and sent out to lovely customers who have ordered shares and in color club members so i do have one or two things that i have kept for myself though including peekaboo farm so this is what i am going to be playing with this morning just going to check that everything is all right on the stream looks like it so that's good um so I'm going to try not to be too long today, um, but uh, only because I've got um, morning Wendy. I've got to make a phone call to speak with my brother. Uh, he rang literally a, like a minute, 30 seconds before I was due to go live. So I had to say, I will phone you back later. But lots of exciting things happening there. Right. So Peekaboo Farm is really cute it's on page bear with me 66 of your new annual catalog do remember if you're in the uk and morning jan uh, if you're in the uk and you don't have a copy of the catalog and you would like one and you want to shop with me please just drop me a catalog request you can find the catalog request form over on my website Morning, Audrey. I'm fascinated, Jan, that it's sunny in Weekly because it's not here. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Jan and I live about ooh, five or so miles apart, but we are the other side of a hill from each other, which may be why. So let me flip myself down to picture in picture, um, just so that those of you who see this on replay to let you know that today is Tuesday the 11th of May and this is a YouTube live recorded at about 11 o'clock UK time on the 11th of May. Um, you know if it's live because there will be a live somewhere in one of the corners. Uh, for me it's in the top left hand corner but I gather it could be anywhere. So Peekaboo Farm, um, there is a, let me bring it in, let me bring in my catalogue. So on page 66, you've got Peekaboo Farm. Um, there is the picture, this die set, which isn't bundled with it, but you can use it with it. Morning, Rachel. Oh, it is at the moment, Jan. OK, I need to plant out my sunflowers, seeing your sunflower there, because they desperately need to be planted out. But it's so windy still. I'm loath to put them out because they'll break off. Um, so yes, you can use the picture of this die with this stamp set. Um, I'm going to use something similar, but not because I forgot to put the picture of this die on my order. Morning, Shani from, oh, sorry, Elaine. I haven't got my glasses on. Morning, Elaine from Derby. So I've actually done some prep, which is frightening. Um, so the first card that I am going to make uses um, polished pink for its base and I'm doing it short and fat because it's going to be this way and I've got a piece of Whisper White which I've cut down from my usual size a wee bit. Measurements will be over on my website uh, which will be linked below. It will probably be Thursday when this goes live. Um, I'm doing a bit of a catch up uh, and I know tomorrow's post is already raring to go. So this is going to be going like this but at a jaunty angle so what I'm doing is using the image in the catalogue this image as a um, morning bee as a sort of inspiration but I'm using different characters so it's not going to be quite the same as this um, although I have just noticed that they went off the edge they layered up no, I'm going to go off the edge. Not going to do exactly the same thing. So, 
photopolymer stamp set. The new photopolymer stamps come with the picture on the back of the paper insert. So you just put your stamps onto the back of your stamp case. And I try to keep the stiff piece of um, acetate on top. Rachel's box has just arrived to morning Jan all the way from Florida. Gosh, it must be early in Florida. Um, so I am going to be using the wall and I'm for this card. I'm going to be using the um, the U and the horse and the little birdie and a hair, apparently. Um, and then we'll come back. Oh, and the, definitely the cloud. Uh, and I think we ought to have the horse's tail, which is that one. We'll see if we can get that in. And we will then look at which sentiment we're going to use, etc., etc. Morning, Lorna. So, um, lots of blocks needed. Now, I am going to be using blends, and I am going to be using quite a few, because if you've got something, you should use it. There's no point in having it if you don't use it. You think maybe the image in the box is a good idea? I think it's a great idea. Um, I think it's, yeah, I think it's a, 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 a fantastic idea. So I'm with you on that one, B. So I've got one, two, three, four, because Mary's just joined us. I've got four of my team, five of my team on today. So Mary signed up with me um, some years ago and has just rejoined because we've got that lovely um, joining up offer where you get extra in your kit. And tomorrow night we have got our team meeting. Sorry, Miss Sunday's launch, but you're working through it today. It's quite long. Morning, Jeanette from Devon. So the wall, the thing you need to know about the wall is that there are these gaps and that's for the hooves to go in. So to get two of my people, I say people, two of my um, images in, I need to make sure I, I stamp the wall twice. Um, now I'm gonna, I am going to copy what they've done to a degree uh, but I think it might come up a wee bit because they've gone quite low down. Uh, no, I think I might go as low as they have. Uh, and I'm doing, because this is, um, I've got the wrong stamp set, because this is a dry stone wall, um, I am going to use browns for it. So Mary said, yes, could could resist the offer. I think you mean you couldn't resist the offer, Mary. Um, right, so I brought out Smoky Slate and I meant to bring crumb cake. Um, so I've got crumb cake. Right, so the first thing I am going to do is to stamp my wall. Uh, and I'm going to start in the middle and work out. Um, I have already rubbed my stamps with my white eraser. Otherwise, um, just rub them on the back of your hand to take that finish off. Because there is a, there's a deposit that is put onto the, the um, mould for the photopolymer to help them come out of the, out of the mould. Fingers not working today. I know the feeling. Um, Right, so this, I would like the wall to join at the top. And because it's photopolymer, there is a vague possibility that it might. And it has. It's a little downhill, but it's fine. Uh, I'm going to bring in a scrap of paper, which I have here, because I do want to go off the edge. Or do I? Actually, no, I quite like it being sort of framed within itself. Uh, so that's my wall. And then for the um, animals, I'm going to use Memento. When I first glanced at this in the set, I wondered why the characters had pigtails, all had pigtails, not realising they leant over the wall. 
Yes, I see what you mean. They do look a bit like pigtails. So this is my U because she hasn't got horns and there is a ram that does. So they are quite tall. I'm hoping I'm going to be able to get this in all right. Just should probably have come brought my wall down a bit, but it's fine. So we've got our U looking over the wall. And then we'll have our horse looking over the wall as well. So there are our two really cute little animals looking over the wall. Um, I thought I might add the horse's tail because there is one. bring it in this side I think it sits better that side so there's our horse's tail and then I also want to have our little birdie because who doesn't like a bird uh, might bring that over this side and there's our little bird so actually I now know what I remember why I brought in smoky slate it's because I want clouds so I'm going to have some clouds just buzzing along the top and let's bring in my scrap piece because then I can have my clouds going off the edge without damaging, or not damaging, without stamping onto my new piece of grid paper. Hi Debbie! So just a few clouds buzzing across the top. Right, okay, so colouring. Uh, I'm going to start with the wall purely because the longer you leave the memento to dry, the better the result. Um, so you can use blends with your classic ink pads as well. So I am. So I'm just going to pop in some shadows because if this is a dry stone wall, I'm going wonderfully over the edge. Uh, if this is a dry stone wall, it will have some shadows and then I might pop in some extra colour between the stones, but I might just leave it plain. Even though you said that it's a U, to me it looks like a llama. Do you know it does? Oh, I haven't told the llama story for a while. Shall I tell you the llama story? So um, while I was still working in the city, I was rushing to uh, catch a particular train from Paddington Station um, and there was a delay on the underground. I worked near Tower Hill, uh, so near the Tower of London. So I used Tower Hill tube station and I went further out in order to catch a train that was coming in the opposite direction, but didn't stop at Tower Hill. But to do that, I had to change platforms at the next stop further out from Tower Hill. So I did. Um, and it meant coming in at one, one platform and going up and over a bridge. Your UPS man's just arrived. Yay, Jan. Hello, Candy. So, um, so yes, yeah, so I had to run from one side of the station to the other via a bridge. Um, so it was literally changing platforms. And as I was doing that, someone else was running in the opposite direction. Um, and as I was going up the stairs, clearly hanging on to the banister, so had claimed my side of the stairs, this person came running into me and knocked their elbow onto my nose. I was wearing white. Um... How I didn't end up with a nosebleed, I do not know. My nose ran quite a lot. Uh, and I did see, you know, when you um, see cartoons and they get hit on the characters get hit on the head and they see little birds and stars. That is what the reaction was for me. Uh, I'm going to have to bring in my colour lifter to get rid of that bit because it's going to annoy me. Um, let me get that now. 
And then I will carry on with what is actually the llama story. So um, I managed to get home. How? I don't know, because I was incredibly dizzy. My nose throbbed the whole way and it was about a two hour journey. Um, big box. <laughs> Hello, Kathy. So, um, yeah, about a two hour journey and somehow I managed to um, stay awake. Um, but anyhow, um, I got home and was still feeling not great. We had supper and it was it was summer. So we have um, our window, our, our kitchen window where the sink is, looks onto the track that we live on. Um, and I was doing the washing up and I suddenly thought, that's odd. I can see a llama. Um, and I was really quite concerned because, you know, we live in the UK and I see horses regularly outside our window, but llamas, really? Um, and it looked like, so we have one-way glass, uh, reflective glass. I'm going to use the other end because it's easier to control. Did they stop and apologise? Uh, no, of course they didn't, Rachel. Do be sensible. They were in a rush. Um, so, yes, um, our, our glass is one way and it's mirrored on the outside. So when you look at the glass, it's a mirror. And llamas do like seeing their own reflections. And this llama was pulling faces in the glass through the window. Um, and I called out to my husband and said, um, you know, I told you I hit my head or that someone hit my head on the way home. Um, I think I'm seeing things because I can see llamas running past or a llama running past. Now, by the time he came to the window, the llama had disappeared. So, you know, we were definitely in the she's hallucinating stage. And then the next four llamas came past. Um, at that time, and we are going back a little while, at that time, one of the farms in the village had llamas. And I didn't know this. And they got out. Um, they ended up running around the village and the environs thereof for about two days. Llamas can jump high fences, so every time they were locked into a sheep pen, uh, which we have a lot of sheep, they just jumped over it. Um, so, yes. Happily, I was not hallucinating. It was an actual llama. Uh, so, yeah. That is my llama story. Which almost got me to the end of my brick wall, or stone wall. But I really was quite concerned. And I have to say, I did go to the hospital the next day and um, they checked my nose had not been broken, but they did confirm that I had got concussion. So um, that did explain quite a lot. Uh, but yeah, it wasn't that long after we'd moved here. So hence, I didn't know that we had llamas in the village. We have a, certainly at that stage, the, the chap who owned the farm at that point has now moved away. Uh, he had all sorts of exotic animals, but uh, as I say, he has now moved away. So uh, if I see any llamas again, I think I will be hallucinating. Right. So that is my dry brick wall or dry stone wall. So just some quick ish colouring for the horse. Uh, I'm going to bring in some cinnamon cider. Um, so we're going to have dark cinnamon cider here. I, oh, I've got soft suede, that's all right. Now, because these are cartoon characters, there's an ostrich farm in your area. Oh, um, because these are cartoon characters, you don't need to be too worried about shading and things. You know, we're not looking for realistic here. We're looking for cartoon. So don't, what I'm saying is don't worry too much if you um, don't want to get too involved in shading. Uh, I think we'll have darker brown feet, hooves, hooves. So that's the dark cinnamon cider. It was the one I picked up. 
don't know how they cope with the Scottish weather. Um, no, I suppose that would be, although there are a lot of ostrich farms in the UK, so. Um, once upon a time, one of my clients, this is back in my insurance days, were McLaren, as in the racing car uh, firm. And they had their headquarters down near um, Woking that were on built on an old ostrich farm. How's that for a useless piece of information? Now I might put some dark cinnamon cider there just because it looks a bit, it blends too well into the crumb cake ink. So, um, but they are so cute. So anyone else got exotic animals near where they are? I mean, obviously in Florida, you're going to have all sorts of exotic animals, certainly as far as we're concerned, Jan. Uh, you're going to have pelicans, I'm guessing, um, amongst other things. Oh, good, it's raining. I want to get some gardening done. I've got seeds that need to be planted. It, everything is so late this year. It's just ridiculous. I'm going to put a second layer onto the dark cinnamon cider because it just needs that extra bit of oomph. Apart from the bit just by his hooves because that's just a shadow. Right, so I think I want light soft suede for his nose. so that it's a bit more obvious and then we'll use dark soft suede for his <laughs> for his hooves um, of course there are haggis running around the hills of course there are haggis playing bagpipes and as you say Rachel yes it will be 2022 before we can blink I look back at photos that I took this time last year and I cannot believe how much further my garden was on. Uh, while I've got the soft suede out, I'm going to give my U soft suede feet as well. And the U doesn't need much in the way of colouring because they are, you know, sheep are basically white. So all I'm going to do is bring in the light petal pink and give it a bit of a pinkish nose and then light smoky slate just around its face on all sides but some are on the inside and I shall go out there as well so that's all I'm going to do apart from just drawing the line here that's all I'm going to do on my U other than blend that out and I will show you close up in a moment so this is where the blender pen comes into its own because you can blend that color into a kind of nothing. I cannot believe it's raining. But it just softens that edge like that. Hopefully you can see that. So I just need to do my little bluebird, who's going to be balmy blue. I wanted to mow my lawn again this morning as well, or this afternoon. It's going to be wet. Hi, Renee. <laughs> Thank you, Jan. Yes, only if you've had too many weed rams or large ones, indeed. Right, so that is actually all I'm doing for the front of my card. And I'm going to bring back in my polished pink card base 
So this really is quite a quick card, certainly as far as I'm concerned. Um, we are going to need a sentiment. I'm deliberately going to put that on skew with, which mirrors what's in the catalogue. So if I bring the catalogue in, so it's my interpretation of this. Um, so that's going to go on skew with. Skew with's always good because it means you don't have to line everything up. Uh, and I will be putting a um, a liner inside the card because unless it's um, white or very vanilla, I always put, ultimately, not necessarily when I first make them, um, I always put a liner in my cards. Even something like soft sea foam, I would put a liner in. So that's going to go like that. And then I want to use uh, Life is Better with You, I think. They have fortunately spelt you with a Y. I think if they'd spelt it with an EW, I might not have been as keen on the um, on the stamp set. I think that would have gone just one step too cutesy. Um, I'm thinking I might do this black on white, or rather white on black. So, let me grab. Is that going to be wide enough? Yes. So I'm going to heat emboss. Um, so I need my embossing buddy and I need white embossing powder, not clear, white. There we go. White embossing powder. So embossing buddy, which we don't do anymore. This um, we established on Sunday when I did my catalogue launch that I have had that for about 15 or 20 years. Uh, they go on forever. Um, if you haven't got anything similar to that, then I would suggest something along the lines of um, some cornflour, just with a paintbrush, dry paintbrush, brush a little bit of cornflour over, gosh that's almost straight, um, it's just get static or any grease off. Uh, the other thing you can use is a used um, uh, tumble dryer sheet. If you use a new one you'll find it makes more problems than it solves. There's a dot between my T and my Y. Let me find a... no that's going to be too big. Just want to get rid of there's a little bit there that I don't want. There it is, all gone. Right, time for the trusty cheese board. So, So life is better with you. I will trim that. Obviously, I'm going to trim that down, but I will be trimming quite a lot off the top. Oh, and I've got more in color, in color jewels, so I can add in color jewels. Oh, right. That's sort of straight. That, on the other hand, is not. Right, okay, are we feeling brave? Because that is not straight. Oh, except it's going on something crooked, so it won't show. It's fine. No one will notice if I don't tell them. So please don't tell them. Why a cheese board? Um, good question, Elaine. It's because um, it's helps absorb some of the heat from the heat tool, protects your work surface uh, and it helps keep your card flat. Because it absorbs and ref and sort of reflects back the heat, it stops it 
the card warping quite to quite the same degree. Um, so yeah, I mean you can use all sorts of things, but I mine just happens to be a cheese board, uh, and it's bamboo. Not that it needs to be, you know, it could be any form of wood. Um, you could use something tin, but that would absorb a lot of heat. Debbie needs to buy a cheese board. I got mine from our local garden centre. Oh, I can't. I can't leave it. Sorry. There's too much black. Can't be doing with that much black. There was me thinking I wasn't going to fussy cut today. I'm only fussy cutting a little. That's better. Right. Black dimensionals. Now, obviously, you can use white because we're going on to white card. Um, but as I have black, I'm going to use black. And these are just small enough. Uh, if you need to, just cut them narrower. Um, I think I, had a, I thought I saw a half. Yes, I have got a half. There's a half there, which can go just on that end bit. Right, and then we will be nearly done. If I was trying to cut that, I'd end up cutting off the Y's tail. You know what I'm going to say, Audrey, don't you? Practice makes perfect. Well, or practice makes better. Maybe not perfect. In fact, I now don't like the... I'm going to have to curl that end as well. Or not curl it, but soften it from being a straight edge. There we go. Life is better with you. Right, and where have they gone? Where are my favourite, favourite embellishment in the catalogue? Yes, in my box I have a few packets of these. So we have got polished pink, uh, pale papaya, evening evergreen, fresh freesia and soft succulent. Obviously this is on polished pink, so I am going to use... Oh, I'm going to tuck it in there. Polished pink. But I'm only going to put them around my sentiment because I don't think I need them anywhere else. So it's just to kind of frame the sentiment a wee bit. And then for a finishing touch before we go on to our next project, which I've actually prepared, um, I am going to get my liner and my little baby bird and I'm going to pop my baby bird on the inside just to bring the inside outside in rather so I might as well colour him as well should really wait a little bit longer before I colour him in because the ink may still be a little bit wet but there we go. Right, okay, let's pop that on the inside and then we can go on to number two, which, as I say, I have prepped. You've mislaid your black dimensionals. Oh, no! Um, I haven't mislaid them. I just forgot to order any more. So um, I have started a new order with just dimensionals on because I'm on my last packet. Now I don't get through, nearly put that on upside down. I don't get through as many black dimensionals as I do white, but dear oh dear, all very quiet today here 
aren't we? You are quite quiet. Anyway, so there's our finished first card. And it's all good. I just want to, I just want to just, just want to just, that's annoying me a bit. I've got an edge. And I need to blend my edge in a bit more. There we are. That will dry better. Right, okay, so number two, which I have prepped, I'm going short and uh, t long and thin again. Um, so a half sheet. And I have done my own version of the peekaboo. So this is soft, uh, soft suede, and I've just used layering circles for this. Um, and then I've run it through, I don't know if you can tell, that it's gone through the bricks and mortar embossing folder. Uh, but I also have buried a piece of Whisper White. White. It is actually Whisper White because I haven't quite transferred over to basic white yet. Um, and I'm just with a soft pencil going to draw around my circles just so I know where they are. I will be rubbing those out. So let's pop those bits to one side. I will ultimately cut this down so that it's a bit smaller but we'll start with it as it is. So quick bit of cleaning up of stamps because um, I want these three and I deliberately chose, I don't know why I've just turned that over. I deliberately chose those ones because they're shorter. Um, they will not fit in the hole, but it's fine. I have a plan. I do, I do. I don't need the cloud anymore. Right. Oh, we don't need the brick wall either, but never mind. So let's have a quick exchange of critters. Don't need the cloud. Uh, this is the ram. And then we can take the horse off and put the pig on. And while I'm putting things away, let's just pop these two away. Right. Okay, this hopefully will be a bit quicker. <laughs> Why do I think that? Um, okay, so Memento ink. And... Bum, bum, bum. Yep. Okay. So the key to this is to get the head in the circle rather than the feet. Not so worried about the feet. We will come back to feet in a moment. She says, just grabbing something to come back to feet with. But I want the heads to be definitely in the circle. And my little piggy. Oh, he's so cute. And then I need, where did I put that scrap of paper? Uh, where'd you get, there you are. Right. So I need, uh, to not put my scrap of paper in my memento, I need each of my little animals, again, so that I can do their feet because we're going to be fussy cutting them. Well, we aren't. I am. But I will come back to those. Let's get rid of my ink pad. Oh, the sun's out again. Spring. You love it, really, don't you? Right, so before I get any older, I am going to rub out the lines because I now know where I've got to stamp, because I've done it already. I'm going to start going round where there isn't any ink, and then I'll do the bit where there is ink in a moment. 
Actually, I don't really need to do the bit where there is ink because it's going to be covered up. But It's always good to have a really good quality white eraser. Um, it's one of those items that is needs to be in everyone's craft arsenal. Uh, I've had this one for literally for years, um, but it is just a standard white eraser. I do also have a sand eraser so that if anything goes a bit doolally, I can sand it away. Hello, Margaret. So we're using Peekaboo Farm today, which I know is not kind of typical me. Let's come back and take out those other little bits now. Um, but I'm trying to push myself a little bit to use different stamp sets. Um, I have, you know, I need to do different things. Right, okay, so cows are generally black and white in, you know, they're black and white cows. So I'm going to go smoky slate because black is going to be too black. So this is dark smoky slate. Like that I will come back and do its nose in a moment. Uh, rams are white, as we know. Well, they don't have to be. We have non-white rams around us. But So I'm going to do the same sort of effect with this as I did with the U. So I'm coming around with light, smoky slate. And then I am going to do grey horns, just so that they are obvious that they are horns. And then I'll come in and lift that frame again. Aberdeen Angus are not. No, I know. And nor are Jersey. Um, OK, we're going to go into animal, pro animal milk protein now, because why wouldn't I? So a lot of people believe they are lactose intolerant which they may well be. A lot of people are lactose intolerant, but quite a lot of people who believe they are lactose intolerant are actually, um, they have a problem with the protein in milk. So by which I mean that different animals have, oh, thank you, Wendy. Yes, don't forget a thumbs up. Um, I like thumbs ups. And if you don't already subscribe, please subscribe. Uh, so, yes, um, black and white milk, black and white cow milk um, is a different protein to human milk. Human milk is the same protein as sheep, brown cows um, and goats. So a lot of people who can't eat um cow product can eat um, goat and sheep product, so like cheese. Right, so I'm going to do a... Ooh, is this light or dark? It's dark! I didn't want dark, I wanted light. Let's blend that out a bit. There we go. So pink nose, just so that it's a bit more obvious that it's there. And again, we'll have a... Actually, I might go dark on our cow. Dark the other end would have probably been a better idea, but hey, why would, why would I make myself in my life easy? Right, and I will come in and do his nostrils. But yes, if you enjoy the video, it's always nice for a couple of thumbs ups. So pink nose, pink ears, and then I'm going to do most of it in pale. So I'm going to go around the outside first with the bullet end. I'm going to remember I need to come down past my circle. And then I can come in with my 
fat end and fill in the middle. Blend that ear in a bit better. And then I'm going to come in with some dark crumb, dark crumb cake and just have some markings and I'm not suggesting that our pig has been rolling in mud. Pigs do have markings. Not all of them but some of them do. So I just thought it would be fun for our pig to have some markings. I had to try your, our son with goat's milk when he was a baby and did it was it did it work? I mean I tend to have goat's milk. I am slightly protein intolerant um, so I tend to have goat's milk which doesn't taste of, go of goat. I know a lot of people think it does, but it doesn't. It tastes exactly the same as ordinary milk. So there's our little piggy. Um, dark smoky slate for nostrils. And then I'm going to go light cinnamon cider for the pig. Now I am going to colour these even though I am going to cover them up. And then I use dark for the others. This is dark soft suede. Mm, beginning to not like that cinnamon cider now. Might have to go over it with soft suede. Too orange on that. That's better. Dark crumb cake would probably have been the best, but never mind. Now, you may be wondering why, if I'm going to fussy cut the feet, hooves, um, why I'm bothering to colour in and it's just in case they show. Uh, simple as. And of course because I've used soft suede for all of them I don't even have to change colours. Not really, he was just a a sicky, a sicky bairn as your granny would used to say. He's having revision surgery tomorrow. Oh, fingers crossed. I hope that goes well. Do remember, for those of you who weren't able to join my launch party on Sunday, that I have a launch special. So I've got my usual special. Um which is over on my website and has been running since the beginning of the month. And assuming that I don't buy too many between now and then, the, um, the special for May will be the In Colour Jewels. Um, but if you place an order between now and the 25th of May, using the host code, you will get a voucher for a 10% discount that you can use once in June. Snips would be useful. Can't see them for looking. Um, and you'll get 10% off. But you have to place the order through me so that I can place the order for you and give you the 10% off. Um, but it will be just like placing, um, you know, you'll just send through exactly what you would normally put on an order. Um, and I will place it for you, have it sent straight to your usual address. Um, but I will, I won't charge you. Um, I'll give you ten percent off. Is basically what I'm saying. Right. So that is now a little bit smaller. So I can pop my critters in there. So I'm going to add some adhesive round the in the big splodges and then just at the corners. And I am going to use liquid adhesive. In fact, what I'm probably no, I won't. Um, 
because this isn't going to be seen but it also means it's easier for it to adhere to a rough surface because this is a rough surface now but I'm going to be very aware of where the circles would be particularly kind of around here um, because I don't want the glue coming through to the front that might be a bit close that might be a bit close as well And of course, we've got the amazing joining offer. Uh, so until the end of May, you can join for the usual £99. But instead of £130, you will get £154 of product in your starter kit go down a little bit more there we go so there are our little critters but they need feet so okay from the bottom up these are actually quite easy to fussy cut because they're they're not they're not complicated shapes, they are just shapes. And I'm not going to go, you know, ridiculously in and out there. I'm just going to go straight across. It's raining. Is it raining? No, I can hear the builders. We've got a new development being built behind us, and I can hear the... Um, the diggers digging but it sounds similar to rain oh no it is rain so that's those two these ones are going to be cute so these ones I'll have to use half dimensionals on so if you haven't got the die for this because I as I say I didn't use the die that's in the catalog just use your layering circle dies um, or if you've still got them you can use circle punches just shared to my local craft oh thank you Mary that's very kind Mary has shared the video to her local local craft group uh, Mary lives over in Essex and we've missed Mary Mary was my she's going to not like me to say this but I'm going to say it anyway she was my first team member who was someone I didn't know um, and it was like but 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 so yes she's very she has a very special place in my heart Yep, just one more and then we can start sticking them on of course using suede may not have been the cleverest idea bearing in mind I'm using soft suede card but you know when did I ever think of these things that would have been you know sensible oh hum it's fine I can make these mistakes so you don't have to uh, I am going to use black because they are dark. That's my logic. Uh, and I'm going to use halves. So let's cut there. So that's four. And I just need one more cut in half. So one, two. Oh, I might be able to use full ones for the ram three and four are these going to be yay I can use full ones much easier right so now you can actually work out which one goes on which foot because it's still got the line. So 
where that one goes there and by the line I mean this you know the outline And of course you could do raised hooves on your wall as well. The sun's just starting to rise in Arkansas, but we're forecast to have rain again. I'm I'm sort of I don't wish rain on anyone in spring. Um not as much as we've had, but I'm kind of pleased that you're having rain over there as well. Cuz it's been miserable here. I'm desperate to plant seeds, but at the moment it's so cold and wet. If I plant them, I think they're just going to rot in the ground. Oh, thank you, Mary. I've just spotted your heart. So there's our little chats with their little feet. And then all we need to do is pop that onto the front of our card, which I will do again with liquid adhesive I will get rid of that dimensional backing and then let's get my liner and this time I'm going to have oh, that one working yeah that one will work alright I'm going to have some in photo bombing uh, and with that I'm going to have hello there hello there So this is going to be a really kind of fun inside as well. So, and then we're done. Woohoo! Inside an hour. Such a thing was never heard of. So, I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope you will consider buying maybe one stamp set that's slightly different slightly outside your usual realm and just see what you can make with it there are going to be from here on in so many samples coming out because um, we had a limited number of items that we could order on pre-order so you would have seen lots of hand, pe uh, hand penned petals lots of pansies etc but now you're going to see lots of other things so there we are love the peekaboo idea thank you nora so there we are those are our two fun cards and they are so cute um i have to say this <laughs> the ram looks a little bigger than the horse but maybe it's a shetland pony Shetland ponies are very small. I saw a Shetland pony many, many years ago when I was, oh, I must have been about 12 or 13, and it was called Micro. No, Microbe. It was so small, it was called Microbe, and I wanted to take it home, but, you know, couldn't. Um, it was a, one of our many holidays in Scotland. So there you go. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed that. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you don't already subscribe, if you would like to subscribe, I would be very, very thrilled to have you um, added to my subscriber list uh, if you would like to um, if you would like to s receive my newsletter you can do that by signing up to my newsletter over on my website and yeah thank you very much thank you Debbie thank you Candy thank you Mary I am going to pop over to sh finish the stream have a fantastic afternoon um, and I will see you again hopefully on Thursday afternoon three o'clock UK time here on YouTube again. Thank you very much indeed. Have a great day and I will see you very soon.